Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Crossing the ferry, another day in the life of a commercial gas engineer. Sometimes I don't know whether it's worth taking the ferry across. The Blackwell Tunnel always seems like the best bet, but when the ferry's there, it sure does go quick. I was hoping to get on this one when the sun was rising, but got there slightly too early. So on my way to a call out to see what's wrong with a boiler. Let me show you what happens. So on this site, I've got a unit that's not working. So I'm looking in at it, it's an ideal, just to see if there's anything obvious. It seems to keep locking out. Seems to be going out on ignition. These boilers are pretty old. There's still a few around. So I was here changing these PRVs. You can see the date of them, simply just due to the pressure. The ones that were on there that were changed, they were the wrong pressure. Spoilers leaking simply because of it going off. So I started washing down the burners because I don't know if these have had a proper service in a while, so I'm just cleaning them down. I checked the probes, they look like they're in bad condition, they just seem to be sparking in the wrong place. It looks like they need, need, looks like they need new ignition leads. And the flame detection, and they need changing as well. I gave it a clean down. And here's a look inside to see what is happening, why the unit's not lighting. Because I gave it a wash down and put it all back together, and, but it was still giving me problems. It was lighting, but it feels like there was no flame recognition. And it goes out. This one got the better of me. I have to go back to work on it again. On the road to another job through a lovely united kingdom we have some nice areas in the countryside london is always the best place to drive i hear that these country roads are the most dangerous and that is due to head-on collisions being double the impact and also paramedics taking a long time to get to remote roads so be careful on these roads i remember times past when i've been on call out and i have gone down these roads a little bit quicker than maybe is recommended well even when the limit says 50 you can still go use your common sense and go a bit slower especially when you can't see i've always heard drive as fast as you can see if you can see clearly down the road you can go a little bit quicker but when you can't see anything <laughs> and you're on a bend common sense says go slower but a lot of people go fast regardless of the conditions okay i'm at this call out extract fan seems to have a problem but let's investigate so i've got the air pressure switches here need to check that they are working properly this is a bit difficult to get to tricky access the hood's recently been changed so to get over to this unit it's going to take some agility so i've got two extractors one's working one's not working and it's due to the air pressure switch not making so i managed to get this air pressure switch down the one that is not making there it is it's at 20 pascals but when i checked the tubes i wasn't getting any difference back i wasn't getting any pressure difference on the tube so uh, have a look at it. this is the one that's working and when the fan is running i'm getting a difference do you notice the difference there that's in millibar but this is the unit that is not making on the air pressure switch can you see the pressure difference there so i gave it a clean out and the lo and behold it didn't work straight away but the next day when it was turned on it decided to work consistently so maybe the blockage was cleared now another day there by big ben at nine o'clock on the dot 
I think Big Ben's probably my favourite part of London. Do you have any favourite parts? On to another call out. So I've got this pump which was switched over. Apparently the pumps are fairly new. And so what I wanted to do is check that they were operating according to the manufacturer's manufacturer's guidelines, making sure that it's also spinning the correct way. So in this system, uh, we're having bad return. The return, as you can see there, is 52 Celsius. I was just checking with a temperature gauge. So there's the plate to plate. Here's the pipework underneath. It should be lagged. It's not lagged. Parts are lagged. Parts are lagged. So if you follow this around, follow it back around here, the pipework, and up to here. And there is the temperature. So I put marks on my plate to plate to identify what pipes are doing what. And I'm just tracing the pipework to look for the restriction. I believe the restriction was on a strainer, but that isn't a five minute job, depending on whether I have gaskets and so on or not. And if the isolation valves actually hold up. So I'll continually tracing pipework around. The flow switch there. Making sure valves are all open. These are my pumps. top pump was switched off and then switched over to the other pump the top pump is fairly new so that one's going to probably have to be changed on guarantee or warranty and this is the temperature we have on our flow very low flow temperature i think there's dirt in this system it's been drained down and topped up several times i think some muck has built up that's our pumps And back to the other side, our plate to plate is there. We had 80 Celsius on all parts of the plate before some work was carried out. Now there's a change in temperature. That's our temperature down there. Just continually tracing pipework to make sure all valves are open. And then inside here, you have a strainer as well. Some more pipework around here. Searching for restrictions. Around here we have our chlorifier and a freeway valve. And then back up there is our strainer. One of two strainers in this plant room. More valves. So here is the strainer inside this case in here. Quite a big one. That's gonna need cleaning out. I'm just there checking if my gauges are actually correct because there's no guarantee that, they're, that they are. Okay, that job got put down to the strainers needing taken out and cleaning or replacing. I'll get back to you on that one. And then despite telling people that I'm the commercial gas engineer, they seem to believe that I'm the commercial guttering engineer. So anyways, here I am clearing out some guttering in the middle of the night, hoping that there are no dead birds or mice or rats stuck in the garden but fortunately I didn't find any it's taken a little while to clear this garden out half an hour to an hour not really sure 
got like an eternity. So in this situation here, going okay, reversing back to that problem I was telling you about with the hot water, with the restriction on the heating. So I was checking the pumps. Can you see phase to phase? So I had the two pumps and I was checking phase to phase. So that was phase one on pump one. And then now this is phase one on pump two. So here we have it switched back over to pump two. And this is phase one on pump two. So 0.93 underneath the readings we require. So now I'm checking pump one phase two. And we have 1.4, which is very high for a, for a new pump that's gone in and that phase is out of kilter with the first phase so now going back to pump two which was our bottom pump which was which it was switched to and what do we have on that phase so pump two phase two 1. that's 1.16 so good reading there And then pump one, phase three. And what do we have here? We have 1.34. So 1.4, 1.34. Phase one was different on pump one. So I'm believing that pump one has got a problem. It should be sent back. Now pump two. Phase three. One point fourteen. So I'm very, I'm happy with pump two. So we'll let them know. Time for me to get back on the road. Bye bye bye.